guys, welcome to part two of my Stampin' Up! haul. The first video was the color caddy and how to put that together and to see how easy things worked on it. And I will link um, the, what do you call it, Beck Stampin' Up! page below so you can check out all the good deals I found. Okay, this big box, let me see if I can show you how big this big box is. Oh, okay. okay, it's like a big, big box, and so basically here's half of it. <laughs> okay, so let me see if I can put this somewhere so I can have easier access to it where my table doesn't have this big box on it. This is like serious happy mail day for me. I've already got my Your Scrapbook supply order, and now my stamping up. I've been waiting for this one because normally when you order it takes about a week. And I'm gonna start huh, with my free gifts. Why not, right? <clears throat> so I got one, two, three, four, five free hostess gifts. And um let me show you. I got the ones that I figured I'd use the most out of it. And I got this one, and this one is called Summer Afternoon, but I thought how cute would these be to color in for in front of cards. And then this one, I thought this one was super cute. I was telling Becca, I was like, I need that one. What do I got to do in order to get my st um, hostess point so I can order this? Because this is like um, the hostess sets. And so you got to order like 150 or more to start being able to buy this stuff. So, yeah. Needless to say, this was like my $400 stamping up order. Um, this is part one of two of four seasons. And then here is part two. So it goes like this. So I'm assuming fall, winter, spring, or wait. Like summer, fall, spring, winter. Just because that's how it looks to me. Maybe. Yeah. But that one I thought was super cute. And then this one is the Stack of Wishes. And it says, Fun Times Through Thick and Thin, Good Pal, Shoulder to Lean On, um, Secret Keeper, Friends Forever. And it's just little quote stamps that I like sentiments. So I got the sentiments um, out of the other things that they had. So those were my free gifts um, from Stampin' Up! for my purchase. And then I also cruised the clearance select section, and um, I bought actually a bunch of stuff from the clearance area. And um, this is actually a um, letterpress pad, and I've never played with one of these before, so I'm hoping I'll like it. But it was like a dollar something, so I figured why not. But basically, from the directions, is you throw some ink on this, you throw it in your big shot, you roll it through, and it presses this with ink on it. So I thought, okay, how cute is that? And so I got it in the hearts and, and the love one. And let me see, does it tell you? Okay, this one's lots of love. The hearts and polka dots one is heart pressed. Yeah. I'll put that back in a package later. I like can see like, the love. And then this one is the fancy fan. So I got that. Um, okay. What else is there? Oh, I got a color catcher because, like, my desk, as you can see, is full of spray inks now. And so I got a, a cardboard color catcher, and this was also on the clearance. I think I might have spent, like, 2 or $3 on that. And I got my Stampin' Up! Write Markers. And this is in the Settles collection. I, like I said, I bought the neutrals before, so now I'm, I'm working on my subtles, and then I want to get the regals and then the brights, or the royals and brights. I think it's either regals or royals, but it's the darker, pretty colors, too. So I got that, and then I bought the entire collection of the subtle stamp pads, also. And I'm just going to show you, like, look how pretty these colors are. There's so many good shabby chic colors in this collection that... I was kind of so torn between buying the neutrals, but I do like the browns a lot, too. 
So that's why this one was my second selection. Like, well, that's such a good shabby chic green. And then there's even, like, that butter yellow shabby chic color and that light pink shabby chic color. A lot of really good shabby chic colors. So, I got that. This would be a good box to alter and use for some sort of storage. I want to save that. I'm going to be a hoarder. Um, I also got this out of the clearance so like section, and I do a lot, I buy a lot of 6x6 six six paper pounds, so I thought why not get this because it was so cheap, and it's a 6x6, six six, um, and it's got like the binder ring, mini album, um, like scrapbook album, so, and it even comes with the, the, um, papers in here. I should really keep my scissors out. I'm tearing up my hands today. Open up packages, my fingers, and everything hurt. So, oh, where are we at? Six minutes. Okay. Oh, do never throw this stuff away. Oh my gosh, this is a lot too. You know, this is really good for like when you do stick pen swaps and stuff. You just cut a little bit off. Let me see if I could do it. Like, say you're doing, like, a tag um, holder for your stick pins. You just cut a little bit of this stuff off, and you cut, a, like, a piece of paper that's, like, a half inch, a little bigger than this, and then you kind of just fold it around, and you glue it to there, and you can stick your stick pins in there. I love that, and it keeps you from poking your partner, too. So I always save this stuff when I get it. And I don't get it very often, so... That's a lot! See? Even goodies inside of goodies. And it even comes with, like, the page protectors. And a cute little album. It says Memories. I love this, too. It's so shabby chic. So, and that was on clearance, too. So I could not see why not, right? Um, I did buy um, one marker um, extra. And this one was, like, in the flesh tones. And it don't come in your, one of your kits. And I'm trying to find the name of it. It's Blush Blossom. And it's, like, a flesh tone marker. And then I also bought um, the three-pack of blender pens. I met this lady at um, Joann's, and I was buying some Spectrum Nor alcohol ink markers. And these are just like Copics, but you can, and you can even pull the nibs off and refill them and everything. And I was buying those, and she was talking to me about how I like them and this and that. And um, I told her I really like them. I said they're comparable with Copics. The only difference is the... Like, the brush nib is, like, a stiff nib versus Copic has the soft, uh, flowing brush nib. So, um, and I was talking to her about it, and she told me she's got, like, the Stampin' Write markers in the whole collection. But she uses her blender pen and just dips it in rubbing alcohol, and, and that's how she gets her colors to blend. So, I was like, hmm, maybe I'll try that. Who knows, right? It just adds to your crafting arsenal. Um, I also bought, um, this stuff here, and it's heat and stick powder. So, um, like working with glitter and stuff, you just, um, use this like an embossing powder, and it gets sticky, and then you sprinkle your glitter over it. So, that's what I was thinking with that. And then these were in clearance, and I thought they were cute, and they're just little crocheted flowers in, like, three various sizes. So, I got those. I also purchased the ink refills for the Settles collection. So, I have all my inks to refill my stamp pads when they need it. That's what I do with my Tim Holtz inks, too. Every time I buy a stamp pad, I buy the reinker. So, by the time I have the whole collection, I have all my reinkers. So, I, um, I did buy one stamp set this time, and it's because I couldn't live without it, because this was basically a supply haul, but then I seen this stamp set, and I had to have it. This is called Clockworks, and it's like this big grungy spot here I love, and that spot right there, but then look, you got your timepieces, and your gears, and your pocket watch, and then your clock hands. I could not not walk out of, well, click buy or whatever you click without this tip hat so I did buy that it wasn't a free gift um I bought a few of the papers that were in the clearance section 
that I had to have. And I bought this set last time. This is the Blue Chateau. Or Beau Chateau. Sorry, Beau Chateau. I'm saying blue. And it's just the um, paper piecing parts. Or what do they call it? It's stamping up. Side notes, okay? Side notes. But they're like the little um, die cuts. Like when you buy the die cuts of the View or um, K and Company, you know, those little packets. It's like that. And so it comes with like little stamps and little crowns. Well, that's a stamp also. And then like little old vintage cards. Because this um, Beau Chateau collection was very um, like shabby chic. Like, see how cute. And everything is like in French, but it's really cute and femme. So. Oh, here's something in English. It says, friend. Truly great friends are hard to find, difficult to leave, and impossible to forget. That's Becky and Carissa. <laughs> I need to order another one so I can make each one of them a card with that. There's that one. And then there's that one. Oh, I love this. This is a really cute journal card. Oh, this one too. And this one says, memories. Class is hot. Very elegant. And then a couple postcards. How cute are those? So, put these all back in the little thingy, and then I'll keep digging in this big box. I want to get, like, all the hardware stuff, like the stamp pads and all that done, and then start shopping for stamps. But I realize, like, their stamp collections are, like, limited time only type things. Like, you get them when they got them or don't get them. So, I'm, I'm really torn. About what I want to do. And this is like my birthday present. This was on clearance for $9. And it is like 13 by 13. And it's a glass plate. How could I pass this up? Because this would work great with like my circle cutter. Or, you know. Oh. Oh, some more of that foamy stuff. Got to save that. How could I say no to this glass plate? Right? To do, like, when you use your X Acto knife or, like, stuff like that. This is, like, perfect for that. So, I got that. And then, I did buy a couple paper collections. I'll show you those in just a second. Uh, let me get the rest of the small stuff out of the way. Um,. I bought, this I think is my Crystal Effects. Yeah, I bought a bottle of Crystal Effects. I mean, it's about the same price as Glossy Accents, but I wanted to see how I liked it, if I liked it better. Because, let me see, you get two fluid ounces of this, and then Glossy Accents, you get two fluid ounces. And then this one says 59 milliliters, this one says 60 milliliters. So... It sounds like you're getting slightly more in the Crystal Flex, but not much. And this is like six something. And I don't know what if I had an invoice or not. Hmm, to tell you if there's like a big difference or not. Because I buy my glossy accents all the time. So. Okay. And then I bought a um a grid pad to help me keep my surface clean because I'm horrible at that. Yeah. So I got that. And then um I bought let me see. I think this one goes with exclusive. They all say exclusive but I think this one goes to that one. Okay. Okay. And you know what? I think I ordered two packs of this Whisper White cardstock. But I'm not sure. I gotta look. So I got a pack of the 40 sheets of Whisper White and 8.5 by 11. And I got a pack of the Neutrals collection. So you get two of each um, in a package. And um, it goes to the first set. It matches the first set of inks that I bought last time. And I bought two packages of that. Maybe that's what I did because this is 40 sheets total here. And this has already got 40 sheets. So I think I bought two of these and one of that. Hmm. I'll have to look at my invoice. 
And then I did the same thing in the Settles collection. And I just bought all the coordinating cardstock to the ink pads and two packages of that. And then I bought... This is... Um, if you go in the paper section on Stampin' Up, they have a paper and ink combo kit where you can buy um, five inks plus the, the paper. Um, let me put this here. And um, so I, that's what I did. And this is the in color kit. And it says 2011 through 2013. And let's see if it's got an item number or something. Well, the UPC number, so I'm going to say item number is 124329. And so it comes with the paper, the coordinating paper. I'm going to put that down under here. And then you get this ink pad, which is Wisteria Wonder and Lucky Limeade. This color, I was like, ooh, I have to have that. And this is Pool Party. And then you get Island Indigo. I like that teal, too. And then this one is Calypso Coral. And I thought this color was this color, but this is Cameo Coral. So, very close, but not quite. So, yeah. I got those. And then now, I bought four pads of their paper, um, which is their um, designer paper. This one here is called Worn Well. And I thought this one, if this is the one I'm thinking it is, I thought this one was a very masculine collection. And it's something which I need because I have a house full of boys. I have not one daughter. You know, so I have all this pretty prima stuff and no daughter. Okay, can you see very well? Okay. Very cute checkered distressed um, grungy. And then like this barn door grunge, brick grunge. I like that. Very nice paper also. And then, like, another wood distress. And then, like, a damask distress. Very nice. Very, very nice. And then this one. That one is gorgeous, too. And then on the back, it's, like, this polka dot distress. Let me see. So I'm, minutes into a hole. I'm trying to hurry, you guys. I am so sorry. And then just this stripey strip distress. And that one. So beautiful. I want to play, but I have to take my nephew shoe shopping. So I gotta hurry up and do this and then go shoe shopping. I like that polka dot. Like, it reminds me of like when you take um, bubble wrap and then a little bit of paint over it and you stick it on there. Yeah. And then so that one and then like these equal mark thingies. Yeah. So, and that one was worn well. Very cute collection. Very masculine. And then I set my scissors. This one here is going to be called T for Two Designer Series Paper. Let's see. And this one is so yummy. I love the little, like, patchwork quilt look. And then this gorgeous coral color, which looks like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think this may be the, the paper pad collection that matches this ink pad set really good. It has, there's that one. Oh, this next paper. And this is the back side of that one. Let's see. So yummy, yummy. And I think, let's see, where's the party? Very cool. Very cool. Okay, so you get this one, and then look at that yummy backside. And then you get the chevron, and you're getting two of each. I'm just trying to hurry. And then the backside of that one. And then this one, I think I flipped. Yes, oh my gosh. This next back side is to die for. Okay, so you get that gorgeous green. And then look at that. So pretty. It looks like a lattice of flowers. And then this one. And then yummy, like, newsprint. So, 
<laughs> Very nice collection. Um, this next one is Attic Boutique. Trying so hard not to scratch the paper or rip it. I'm oh, sorry, guys, I got text message. I try and remember to mute my phone, but I don't sometimes forget. Oh, yeah, this one. Okay, so that's your first page that you get the gorgeous lace pattern. And then look at this with the penems and the florals. So beautiful. I like that flourish. And here is your next page. Let me get both pages. Right here. This one is Attic Boutique, if I didn't say that already. And then this gorgeous one. You know, a lot of these papers have such a shabby chic feel. Here's this one. And then on the reverse. So, full of beautiful. <laughs> so, there's that one. And then look at this script one. And then you get all these judge forms and everything on that one. Or corsets and tubas and horns. Yeah. Okay. And then look at that one. Shutters and all that. Gorgeous. And then look. So beautiful. I'm slowly but surely coming an addict, I think. Uh, especially because of this next page. And then that one. Because, like, look at this. Like, you got this color to coordinate so well with that right there. So beautiful. <sighs> okay, and then this last paper stack I purchased last time. But, um, let me show you just a few of the pages because I, I had to order it again because I used it a lot of it up on a project. And this is Beau Chateau. And this is on clearance, you guys, and it's super cheap. And so is this, and the stickers are on clearance right now. And so is that. And these all coordinate so well with this collection. But you get this gorgeous, like, um, fence design. And then this, and it says cherish at the top. And that's, this matches that little 6x6 six six mini that I bought. And then you get this gorgeous design, and then you get this gorgeous design. I did, um, uh, what do you call it? Some wall art for my bedroom in this, because it matches my, my blues and browns of my bedroom. And then this, this is memories. But just fussy cut that out is, would be so beautiful. And then, like, this chicken wire. I love the chicken wire. And then you get chickens or roosters. I don't know if it's a rooster or chicken. I'm not a farm people. And then, look at that. That was, like, my favorite thing to do in my bedroom. And then, like, this cross collection. And then there's the polka dots. And then the pink. So, that is my stamping up haul, you guys. 23 minutes and 49 seconds of one. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. I don't want to keep you waiting any longer. Toodles, have a good day.